Warm welcome, Markus Termin. This is the 1st of May 2024. Let's have a look at the astrological chart. The moon is still in the sign of Aquarius and it has the square position to the sun in Taurus. That's not 100% comfortable. The more because, as I said yesterday, the moon makes also a square position to the own ruler of its sign, which is Uranus. But today I want to point your attention um, to another aspect, which is very important and which is usable for private use today. That is Mars, who just entered the sign of Aries and is in his stronghold now, makes a sextile to Pluto in Aquarius. And why is that important? Because Pluto is just about to turn around direction. Pluto was getting slower and slower and slower and now Pluto is at its standstill and he will go into retrograde motion within three days. That means this aspect from Mars to Pluto is, a, is an aspect of running Mars and stand still Pluto. This points it out very strong. Now Mars in Aries is action and Pluto in Aquarius is actually the idea of liberty and freedom, maybe technique in another sense as well. Now as Pluto turns retrograde he will do so until the 12th of October and then he will go into direct motion again. But this is exactly the gap that we were pointing out onto. Of course, as Pluto tries to, well, not tries, but he will go back to Capricorn, this might trigger the attempt of some folks, you know, to reinstall what they are trying to, how are we going to call it, new world order, blah, 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 things like that, you know. This is all Capricorn Pluto. It was Capricorn Pluto when they first popped out with it, 2019. And now when Pluto goes back, they are trying to do a revival of what the 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 left wreck of this what they are doing um, you know <clears throat> is is the situation the world is in right now actually <clears throat> probably I'm not I'm not a prophet but probably um, this period is going to be used for the installation of digital currency throughout this year it might happen that soon it all depends on how long will it take until the scheduled breakdown of a few other bigger banks will happen they are printing money like crazy um, it's it's like um, it's like you know uh, using the old system until until the last drop that they can pressure out of it <clears throat> until things like digital currency is, is um, going to be introduced as, as the savior of, of the old system, actually. This is, these are the happenings that I'm afraid we're probably approaching to. But today's aspect in between Mars and Pluto, the sextile in between Mars and Pluto, is a good possibility for private action into the direction of liberty too. Mars in Aries is bold and he says, go ahead and do it, you know. Also Venus entered her own sign. She's in Taurus now. She gives good news out of the Taurus sign in the sense of how are we gonna stabilize ourselves in a private sense to have a good living. Um, okay, that's about it, what I wanted to talk about. So this is this is a mighty, mighty aspect. The sextile in between Mars and Pluto. Mars adds force to um, what is a, a big transformation, you know. And 
if you go ahead of this transformation and you tell yourself I'm not dependent on outside transformation, I do the inside transformation, I do it all by myself, I'm the government, I govern myself, you know, for those people this bold aspect in between Mars and Pluto, Pluto just before his retrogradeness is a fine thing. And when Pluto will go into direct motion again at the 10th of October. We are also going to have an Aquarius moon again. So this is a period in between now and October and a little further on because it will take Pluto some more time to re-enter Aquarius after its retrogradeness. So this is going to take until the end of the year, but then definitely He'll leave Aquarius, he stays in Aquarius for good and he will leave Capricorn. So that's the main aspect for today. Mars sextile Pluto, just in my observation. Thank you very much for listening. If you want to get in contact with me, I'll be happy if you use this mail address. Mind the DE at the end of the address. It's a German address. Down here at my German blog site, you'll find the conditions for a consultation. Use WhatsApp for a call or whatever you like. Thank you for listening. This is Markus Termin at the 1st of May 2024.